Wow, that's a build-up, right? Countdown to the battle at Hofstra. Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, set to go head-to-head -to -head in the first presidential debate this season, and the Fox News political insiders are here. John LeBoutlier, a former field director for President Ford, a 1976 campaign, and uh, Congress, or Senator, I always say Congressman. Oh, Congressman. Congressman in New York. <laughs> uh, formerly Pat Cadell, strategic advisor to Jimmy Carter, a Fox News contributor as well, Doug Schoen, former strategic advisor to President Bill Clinton, six years in the White House doing that job, now a Fox News contributor. Gentlemen, good to see you all. See Our you. social media is already heating up with one big question. What's at risk for each candidate as sure. they step up to their lectern sure. tomorrow night? Donald Trump has to make it very clear that he is presidential. If he goes off on some of his sidebars, makes inappropriate references, he could hurt himself. On the other hand, if he appears presidential, given Harris that he's had real momentum in the polls and the race is now a tie, he can move ahead. Hillary Clinton also has to appear presidential. At the same time, she raises questions about his suitability for the office, mm -hmm. his credibility, and his ability to serve. Why does she have to cram this weekend? I mean, remember that whole thing with, with inevitability that everybody was talking about about a year ago with her? What happened? Well, good question, isn't it? Well, the country happened. The, the revolt in the country, in the Democratic Party, in the Republican Party that put Trump as the nominee, almost had Bernie Sanders, a 74-year-old socialist, on horsing her. That's what happened. The problem is she is not, she is not the change variable. She's in a very difficult position. This debate is an opportunity and a high risk, a great opportunity and a risk for Trump on the lines that Doug is saying. Look, Trump needs to, has a chance to engage the audience in a way that allows him to de answer some of the doubts about him and concerns, hmm. which are personal. She will come after him, and that's something we should talk about. She has to engage Trump. His job is not to engage her, it's the audience, and not fall to her trying to provoke him because he has huge issues going for him and change. He's got the opportunity to make a case and to do it in a way that people say, my God, well, I'm surprised he did that, but to where they agree with him. She is a representative of a past that they don't want. Only if he is unacceptable. Change and corruption, Pat. Change and corruption. And the corruption goes to big things, not just, you know, the, 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 the Clinton campaign strategy this week on corruption is to make Donald, we're corrupt, but so is Donald Trump. He's more corrupt. Than he's oh, oh, well, the answer is she's running the most corrupt machine in history. Then the worst part is what it does to the American people. And what happens if you institutionalize that corruption? John, from what Pat was just saying, so Trump must engage the audience. She will try to bait or engage him. Yeah, well, I think she also needs to engage the audience. I think she does need to try to. Do you think she will? Yeah, I think she's going to try to re once again introduce herself to the American people as a nicer, more likable person. I think it bothers her that she's been portrayed as a lying, sniveling. Well, it crook. bothers her because the polling reflects that well, that doesn't work for her. Why? And of course it's it doesn't. Her. But I think it bothers her. And I think one of the things they'll try to address, you know, they don't. This race is so close. You don't need a massive seismic shift in the perception of either one of them after mm. this debate to win the election. This is a there's a revolution going on in this country, mm. and the question is, is the revolutionary Trump too out there? in which case they'll stick with her. Or if he's a safe revolutionary, they'll, they'll embrace him. Right. How they do you know who wins tomorrow night? What does well, a win look two like? Two things are going to happen. There will be instant reaction, Harrison, with all due respect, frequently the instant reaction gets it wrong because the press tends to judge based on who had the most facts, who appeared to be the most cogent. Well, the spin but, room plays a part in that, And the too, spin right? room does, but here's the thing. The American people judge on something else. Who gives them the impression of both being most likable and competent and having a clear direction. Because the other problem Hillary has is can she articulate a clear direction, a vision for the country? We'll know by Thursday or Friday who won the debate. Look, the problem with the instant analysis about debates mm -hmm. is that in, with the public, and I've done this for many, many years, as Doug and John's been involved, you look at these things, people are tuning in to have questions answered. We have the largest number of voters ever who are clearly going into a first presidential debate 
no, they're unhappy with the candidates. They don't know where they are. That we have more potential people affected by this debate than any other in history. And, it will, and, and we will know only when their attitudes move. The boat will follow the shift if there is any in attitudes. And you know, there's another factor. Uh, they're going to be judging tomorrow night and this week and all that. Mm -hmm. and, and guess what? A lot of them are going to be voting not on November 8th. They're going to be voting next week, two right. weeks from now. Because you've got early voting going on through yeah. and, this And we're going to have season. over a third of the public will cast their votes before election day. So that year. puts extra pressure, yep. particularly Correct. on Huge. this first debate. Yep. Uh, eight in ten registered voters, a poll showed today, are going to watch this. That's right. north of 100 million people. Correct. And Harris... Let's contextualize this. I made it clear. We have a Washington Post poll, as you suggested, effectively dead even. Hillary may be two points ahead. The swing states have all moved in the direction of Donald Trump. The Electoral College is a virtual uh, dead heat. Uh, to show everybody what we're going to be doing going forward, I want to get as much of the people's voice in this as possible because this is the big night before the debate. Keeping it real, which I don't think is his or her first name, really. <laughs> uh, nobody is actually sick of the email scandal, Harris. As a matter of fact, people really want justice. So does he talk? about that tomorrow night? I would. I would talk about it and I would talk about the Clinton Foundation and the pay for play and the people, the, the, and here's the important one. The American people overwhelmingly believe that what this proved with the FBI is there are two, two sets of justice. One for political insiders like Hillary Clinton and one for the rest of us. And that it is unfair and that is part of the rigged system that is depriving mm. people and their children from advancing. That is Donald That's Trump's core message. It's you. If he delivers affected. it, it will make a huge difference. All right.